tickled because I was watching the opening of our show, Friends and Neighbors, and just looking about how time has just flown by. I was a blonde back then, now I'm white haired. Uh, do you ever feel like time is flying by? Well, it has here with me in my life with friends and neighbors because this is our thousandth show, a thousand shows. I, it's just, it's almost mm, unbelievable to me that uh, I've been a part of a thousand shows here on Friends and Neighbors and how wonderful it's been all these years, these 25 years I've been here at Friends and Neighbors. But uh, you know what? I've had uh, some different co-hosts. Uh, Sandra O'Neill has been precious. She's my newest and I love her so much. And y'all know me, Sherry Tatum. I've been here a lot of times, a lot of years, but She's one of my favorite singers and one of my favorite co-hosts, and she's going to sing us two songs, Tell Me and the Goodness of God. I am so grateful for all of the preachers, teachers, musicians, worship leaders that have impacted my life. And I want to share this song that is called The Story of Jesus by one of my favorite musicians, Paula Stefanovich, thank you for what you do to tell people about the story of our amazing Jesus. Tell me, tell me again the story of My heart longs to hear 
friends and neighbors, I'm Sandra O'Neill, and you know, I am just so at awe, in awe, Sherry, <laughs> of how God has blessed friends and neighbors. Oh, yeah. And I'm so grateful to him for bringing me here because I've learned so much. You know, I just sang that song, The Story of Jesus. Yes, and I loved it. I tell you, I am so grateful for <clears throat> every preacher, teacher, ministry, Mm -hmm. a person that's in ministry to share the living story, life-changing story of Jesus Christ. It's beyond just a story. Mm -hmm. It is actually gives you life eternal. Mm -hmm. So, and I feel that friends and neighbors in my life personally has been so encouraging and has gotten me closer mm -hmm. to Jesus. And that has a lot to do, Miss Thang, yeah. <laughs> with my fabulous, wonderful, <laughs> amazing co-host and yeah, original old, host, old. Sherry Tatum. So I, all of that to say how grateful I am to do ministry together oh, with you. Well, you named everybody but singers like yourself that bring the gospel. And songs and music can drive away the bad feelings, can make us at peace, yes. can bring in the uh, spirit of the Lord, the presence of the Lord. Musicians, singers are so important uh, in the kingdom of God. And Sandra, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I mean, you write songs, you put the melodies, you sing them, you hear, you're a good mother, wife. You're just all around. God just blessed you so, so much and, and bless me by letting you be here with me. Oh, well, uh, you know, for, the feeling is mutual. How long has you. it been? Six years? It has to be, yes. Six yes. years. Did that not go? Oh, uh, yeah, it went like this. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> I, I mean, seriously, it's like... Our 1,000th show. 1,000th shows. Oh, my gosh. Because when I, I started here at Friends and Neighbors, it was Kimberly and Donna and That's I. That's right. And, uh, and Kelly. Right? No. No, no. Kelly, Kelly hadn't come, come yet. until yes. about 12 years later. Wow. But, you know, think Donna's in heaven. Kim has her own show, QVC. The girl sells, uh, sells everything. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. I so, uh, love her so much. Uh, but, you know, then Kelly came and was a hoot. <laughs> she is I hilarious. I love Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, no matter how bad I was down in the dumps or what was going on, if I came here and I was with El Kelly, I was laughing by, the, <laughs> yeah. by the time I left because she is hilarious. And I, I wish that, you know, things could be better so that she could be here. Yeah, we She wanted her. to be here today. Yes. But um, things she has to do at home. Uh, with family, uh, I understand her mother, her, no, it's her father-in-law, mother-in-law are not doing well, yeah. and she has Bradley. So, but I know everybody out there loved uh, uh, Kelly, but, <laughs> you know, now everybody loves you. Aww. So I want you, I'm going to interview you oh, for a goodness. moment, okay. then you might can Let's interview see. me. Ooh. I want to know some... Uh, what are some of your favorite shows? Do you have one? I don't have one favorite. I just love being here on the set. But one that I really remember was when, do you remember the one that the dog came from LA? <laughs> <You remember? Yeah. laughs> and yeah. I loved it. And, I'm over here. and the dog trainer is with the dog, yeah. right? Uh -huh. And guess who I'm interviewing? Yeah. I'm like talking to the dog. Uh -huh. And the dog trainer's like, hello. I remember that so, oh, and I, we had to cut that and try it again. I was like, you need to talk to the trainer, Peter, not yeah, the dog. No. And I'm like, oh, he's awesome. Ah. <laughs> anyway, that was one of my favorites, but I've got so many. I learn so much, and I glean so much information. Yeah, me too. I, there's been just a variable plethora of knowledge uh, here on these sets with these wonderful uh, guests that yes. we've had over that, the that years. That are kings that are impacting the mm -hmm. community for Jesus. Oh, yeah. Just like, you know, uh, Dr. Peterson, I needed that so yeah. much. It was, you know, about the grandparents yes. trying to teach their grandchildren faith, keep mm -hmm. their faith in Jesus. Legacy and, and imperative. That that, and that was just a show ago, mm -hmm. but that still impacted me yeah. and was so uh, imperative to me. I, mm -hmm. I, I loved it. Um, but one thing that with me, I've, I, I, people ask me uh, different things when I'm out and about and they'll see me and they'll say, uh, aren't you Sherry on Friends and Neighbors? I watch your show, blah, blah, blah. And, I say, and they ask me questions and it's like, hmm, 
I am not a professor. I don't know <laughs> all the answers, you know, and you don't, but it, it's funny how uh, I've been reacted to over all these years of people asking me questions now in public, and I don't know, have, does anybody ever come up and die? I don't know, no, I but, don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird, well, and I'm saying, what I do love, I, I do love the fact that people remember, they'll say, oh, hey, you're, you look so familiar. Mm -hmm. um, but I hope that what people really remember from friends and neighbors um, is that we love Jesus. Amen. We love God. Mm -hmm. And we're not perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we are God. imperfect yes. people. Yes. But I really, um, it it motivates me to be better and to seek yeah. him more and to love him more. Amen. So then whatever life throws our way, it'll be one of that reaction of mm -hmm. how would how would Jesus reflect? How, what would Jesus do yeah. um, instead of what would Sandra do? <laughs> yeah, but don't you ever, I mean, for and I still, even 25 years of doing this show, sometimes I come out here and I look around and I say, God, how did I get here? I'm just a little old country girl. Uh, how did you choose me to be here and to meet all these wonderful people, mm -hmm. to meet Sandra and Kim and Donna and Kelly and to know Greg and to know uh, Charlotte and, uh, and Jane and, you know, all, all the people, Dale and all of us here. And it's kind of like a family, but I, I look around and, and I'm in awe sometimes of it mm -hmm. because I don't sing like you. I'm not a singer. I'm, I'm a mother, grandmother, great grandmother, and all those things. But to be here 25 years, and I think, God, you're so wonderful. And you know what it is? It blesses me more than I can tell you because I know that God has a plan mm -hmm. for each and every one of us. And to not that we're not to think that we can't do things because, or that we don't have a future. Uh, because you, you know, Jeremiah 29 was my favorite It's your verse life first, yes. Because I see that in my life. Yeah. I see that in yours. And I see that you with Errol and Eliana. And, you know, here you are. You're basically Peruvian. But God said, no, you're going to be on the set of Friends and That's Neighbors right. one day with Sherry at Tatum and Kelly sometimes. <laughs> And you're going to be a singer. God, you know, he has a plan. He does. And that's the whole point. It's, you know, our our job is to be obedient to it. Yes. And that is so much, that's easier said than done. Amen. And my prayer is that God help me be obedient and take your hand as you lead me through the fear. Yeah. Through the, but I'm not qualified. And what if God is a, just hold my hand. Walk yes. with me. He is Emmanuel, God with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. So I'm okay. grateful and I love how you share your devotions and I yeah. love how you <laughs> share your love for Jesus and how you learned through opening up his word. Yeah. That's, That's basically it. it. Open up the word and God speaks to you. And trust. Uh, um, because, you know, I know a lot of you out there, you felt you're at the end of your rope, that you can't go on. And, you know, you hear the old saying, well, just uh, tie a, a knot in your rope and hang on. Well, that's, that's hard sometimes, Sarah. Yeah. But trust, if you can learn to trust the Lord in everything and not lean on to your own understanding in all and your follow yes. the voice of the Lord. I've got a story here that I want to read, and it's two people who didn't trust the leading fully of the Lord. This doctor, he got a call at 2.30 in the morning. A little girl was dying from an accident, and he's the only one that can do this particular operation. He can save the child. So, <clears throat> and he knows the way the hospital, he's done it a hundred times. But they're saying how urgent this is. He says, well, I think I'll take a shortcut. Well, he feels this little tug, no, 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 not best, Don't, no, 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 you need to go on, you know the way. Well, no, I've got to get there, I'm gonna take this shortcut. Well, the shortcut went through some uns unsavory neighborhoods and he, drew, he stopped at a red light and when he was stopped at the red light, <clears throat> his cell phone also was in the car, I have to see that, he 
the door opens real quick and this man says, get out of the car. Well, he gets out of the car, this guy gets in his car, he doesn't have his phone now, the doctor, he doesn't have a car, the guy speeds away and there he, le he is in the middle of the night, no phone and no car and he's thinking, God, why didn't I listen? Why didn't I trust the, the, the voice uh, the, of your leading? Well, 25 minutes later, somebody comes along, picks him up, takes him to the hospital, but the little girl has passed away. Mm. And the nurse says, can you please talk to the father? He's down in the uh, chapel. and He is so distraught. Please go talk to the father and <clears throat> oh, he's distraught himself and so he gets down there to the chapel in the hospital and he sees this man sitting over in the corner and the doctor walks in and, and he sees this guy just sobbing with his head in his hands and <clears throat> he looks up the guy looks up and the doctor sees it's the man that opened the car door oh my took the car and sped away because he thought he had to get to the hospital really quick mm. and he didn't trust the person that was coming to get him to get him quick enough to get him to the hospital so he gets the doctor who didn't trust God enough to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit to go the way you know. And that is the, the thing. We, so many people take matters you know, into their own hands. They don't trust the leading mm. of the Lord, Sandra. Yes. And that's my devotional. Yeah. Tr blessed is the man, the Bible says, whose trust is in the, the Lord. Lord. Don't snub that. Go with the trusting of the Lord and you'll be so much better. You'll end up okay. Everything will be better. But right now, we've got to say goodbye. I know. Oh. Oh, goodbye for our thousandth show. Oh, Sherry, thank you for thank sharing you. that. I love doing ministry with you. And, and remember, yes, and thank we you. we got to go a break. We're just going to a yes, break. Yes, yes. We're going to a break. So we're going to be back in just a moment and close this show oh, out. Absolutely. Okay? Yes. All right. See you in a minute. Well, Sandra and I thought we were through with our show, but they held up a sign and said, no, you, we have cupcakes Yay! Yay for our thousandth show. Oh, my goodness. So, it smells so good. The, Chocolate. Beautiful. Oh, so good. Yeah. But you know what? It's I calories. Know. But we can do it. Well, can we we can time? walk extra hard. There won't be any calories in this. <laughs> no, there will be, but we can walk and drink water afterwards. <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> promise. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, Sherry, I love you, and I I'm so you. grateful that God has given me the opportunity to do this show with you. Thank and you, I pray that the show is life-changing and impactful yes. to our viewers. I just pray someone that we'll take more to heaven with us. Amen. You know, I want to yes. take more to heaven. Here, grab a cupcake and let's cheer. Okay. You ready? Here we go. Wait. Yeah. Me, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you better not. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. This is wonderful. Uh, it smells so good. Mmm. You know, chocolate is my favorite. Hey, thank you for being with us on our <laughs> thousandth show. And we are through, I believe me. So see you next time. Just here. for this episode. Oh, yeah, for this episode. <laughs> next time. <laughs>